Affinity Designer 2 has got a great new shape builder feature and you can combine shapes in all kinds of different ways. I've got three shapes here. You of course could have 50 or 100 shapes. Here's the shape builder tool. Just go down here. And what happens? You hover over a shape. Now you don't have to select all the shapes. You could of course not have them selected. But hover over and you can see this, these lines appearing. And that's it's going to process those ones. I'm going to use this action. This is the first, all the options along here, the control bar. So I drag down there, drag there, drag there, and drag there. And because the first one is green, they will all become green. All added together, and you can see you get one curve. You style from first selected area. And that's using the plus. And also I'm using freehand. Now I could do line, so I can select that instead. So line just creates a line. So it's a straight line all the way through and release. Does exactly the same. Now if I went the other way, I go that way, and it becomes yellow or orange. Now this one is slightly different. If you go here, you can't get back to this one. So that's why I think the line one is not always so useful. Okay, there's also an option here for minus as well. So minus, with minus, you can just gain, subtract this time. So say you want to get rid of this area, this area here, just drag over there and release. And you can see now it's gone. Drag over this area, release, and it's gone. Drag over this area, it's gone. And so on, so you can build up complex designs. Also, let's just do all those again. With the freehand option, the freehand option you can just move around. So you can just go over this one, minus and minus and release. And you can see you're just left with that. Or maybe go over this one and this one and this one and release. And you've got that one left. So undo. So it's a number of combinations. Simply just drag over there and drag over there. Or drag that one. You can continue. You can always take away a little bit more each time. Just drag over that and you can see you end up with that shape in the end. There's also another option. So again, select all of the shapes. You've also got marquee as well. So you can actually do apply it all over using the marquee. Just select like that and they all go. You've got this option. Create a new shape from selected area. Now that is more like the add. It's basically the same as the add. And it just adds the shapes, combines them all into one shape. But what it does, it creates an additional new shape out of those. So if I hover over there, drag down, oh, let's just use the freehand, I prefer freehand. So just drag, 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 and drag. Now you get this additional curve on top of it. The others still exist. So if you want to, you can quickly click there, the move tool, and just simply move them out of the way and you can see that original design. So you've got that and you've got that as well. And now of course what you can do, you can combine this as well. So maybe select that, select all the shapes, so all selected, gain shape builder tool, go here to the plus or keep this one and hover over that and just drag across there, drag over there, drag there and that will create another more complex shape, and so on. So you can build up some very complex designs very quickly using this approach. Also, what you can do, and let's select all of those, I'll remove them, and I'm gonna create a star. So create a star, and I'm gonna create some text, because you can combine text as well. So text, I'm just create the word text. With that, I can resize it. Don't want it that small, so just create that. Now I can combine text as well, which is quite nice. So what you can do, just go here, click there. Now I haven't got the star selected. You notice it's not selected. The text is, but I can just hover over there, hover over there, release that. Now, of course, if I had more than that, and let's just create another one, that would be more sensible. Let's just hold down the alter option key. So you can see now I've got two sets of text. So I make certain Make certain those are both selected. Let's select all of them. Let's select all the text. That's going to be the easiest way. And simply again, use that and hover over there and you can select multiple parts. Because I'm using that option here, you see it creates a very interesting curve. Undo that. If I go to the plus and do exactly the same, so let's just go over there and release. It just combines them. Also, you'll notice when you're using text, it does have a tendency to put them all into groups. I've got this text here. I can combine it with that star. 
So again, select all the shapes. So they're all selected. Again, go over here to the Shape Builder tool and now hover over there. Again, I've got plus there. And it's a really sensible thing to look and make certain you're doing the right thing because sometimes I've done it by accident. I've suddenly deleted things when I didn't mean to. So plus, just hover over there, drag over there, drag down there, drag over there, drag there, drag there, drag there, drag there, and drag there, and release. And you can see that is, that's all been combined into a single shape. This text here and this text here are not. And you expand that out and you can see T and X. Any text is no longer live. It's become a curve and it's put it into a text group. So you just have to be aware of that. As soon as you edit it, you lose the ability to change the text. So make certain you spell check before you do it. And that's a quick run through of some ways of how to use the Shape Builder tool. I think it's a great little feature and I think it's a great thing that would be nice to be in maybe Affinity Photo as well. Of course, as all these things, you can use the result here in Affinity Photo simply by going to Photo and Edit in Photo. But Shape Builder itself would be a nice addition, I think, into Photo as well. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.